Happy Saturday to all of you. The Lord bless you. Brian here, and today is February 5th, 2022. And I'm here to bring you a video with a prophetic word, as well as a prophetic encounter that Prophetess Veronica West had on January 26th, 2022. So just a little bit over a week ago, and so this one is pretty exciting because she was caught up into the courtroom in heaven. So, Lord, we give you thanks not only for this weekend, for the week that has passed, the week ahead, the rest of the month, Lord. We invite you, Father, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, come and be with us and help us, Father, to just cast away and put aside our carnal mind and carnal way of understanding things for nothing of your kingdom nothing of your ways nothing of your word even the word of god cannot be understood without the holy spirit who leads us in to all truth and who is the one who reveals the truth help us father not to argue and butt heads with people who just do not understand. We do not depend on our own mind or understanding, but we depend on you, Lord. As long as our spirit is built up, you will bear witness within us to know that which is true and that which isn't. We thank you in advance for this mighty word from your servant, Veronica West, from Ireland. In Jesus' name, we give you all the glory. Amen. All right. January 26, 2022. This word is called a turning of the pages of the books of all nations. For a turning, turning, turning of the pages is now taking place in the heavens and on the earth. Watch. Now the great Redeemer and Restorer comes in the mighty whirlwind of Elijah to reconcile the books of all nations. So this morning, I felt a call to just sit before the Lord and wait upon Him. I felt such a wooing of the Spirit to come up higher as He desired to show something to me. Now, I had not been long in his presence when suddenly I was caught up in a powerful vision. And the first thing I saw in this vision was the courtroom in heaven. I have been taken in the spirit into this most sacred of places now three times. And each time I have encountered this place, I have literally felt as if the weight of the glory of the Lord would consume me. I will be honest, this place is not an easy place to be in because the spirit of the fear of the Lord so fills the atmosphere that it's almost completely, it almost completely overtakes and overwhelms you. I believe if it were not for the power of the blood of Jesus that literally puts an invisible boundary line around about me, I believe I would be utterly consumed in but the twinkling of an eye. Now, as I stood in this place once again for the third time, I was only permitted to see what looked like a very large marble table, a table that had no beginning and no end, Ooh. as it stretched beyond what my eyes could see. On this table, I saw again hundreds upon well, upon hundreds of books. These I have been shown before in my very first encounter in the courtroom of heaven. And I knew immediately that what I was seeing were the books of the destiny of the nations of the earth. Wow, that's a lot of, of, of the word of. <laughs> the books of the destiny of the nations of the earth 
God is into record keeping. And we can read in, I believe it is Revelation 21, I believe it is, uh, where it speaks about the great white throne judgment. It may be chapter 20. Um, but the Lord speaks of the great white throne judgment and how the people are brought before him and the books, plural, the books were opened as well as the book of life. Now, I won't go down, down that trail, but it's just to show you books. God keeps record. We all have an, a scribe angel. This has been revealed through Revelation. Uh, as far as I know, there is no scripture of it talking about a scribe angel. But when we learn God's ways, we can understand that it just is. We know within our knower, which is the Spirit of God within us, who reveals all truth. We know that Jeremiah had a scribe. We know that even the Lord himself wrote down the Ten Commandments, right? So the Lord is big on writing things down, keeping record, right? If you've read the book of First Kings, Second Kings, etc., it talks about, um, and the book of Chronicles, the Lord speaks about, and more things were written in the book of the wars of Israel or the book of Jasher, which is referenced, but yet it's not in the Bible, but yet it's referenced. And even like the book of Enoch, the first, uh, f the first book of Enoch. And so though it may not be in the Bible, just because it is outside doesn't mean it doesn't line up with what is true. For we know John, uh, chapter 21, verse 25, if I'm not mistaken. John says, e, and Jesus did more, m so much more, many more things, that if each one were written down, he says, I do not believe the whole world could contain the books that would be written. So once again, God does not belong in your box, nor my box. Have no box at all. Let God be God. Right? This is what happens when we try to understand God with the carnal mind. Carn, no, the carnal mind is at enmity with God, says Romans. Enmity, that means you're his enemy in your mind. So if you're trying to understand with your mind and say, oh, well, whenever God says something in the Bible, it's literal. That is relying on your carnal mind, and you are wrong. And if I were to say that, then I would be wrong. But I don't say that because I know better. The Spirit of God reveals and leads us into all truth. Without the Holy Spirit, the one who wrote the Word of God, we cannot understand its meaning. Now, there may be some parts that are literal because of the historical context or the event, and yet the Lord can have spiritual meanings to it and even layered meanings of revelation a, a, a specific passage could be speaking of a king such as in um, Isaiah what chapter was that Lord Isaiah I think it was 14 where it talks about the king of well an earthly king and at the same time, it's speaking of Lucifer when he was kicked out of heaven. So there you go. I, I just proved the point. It's very simple. And it's right there. And we know that in Ezekiel, it talks about Lucifer as well. So the Lord can speak spiritually. And he can mean something historically in the context. And yet it can also be a sign of a big prophetic event to come. But yet there may be types and shadows, shells of that same event throughout history so that was for free <laughs> let's continue with the word and thank you for the blood of jesus that wipes away the record 
of our sins when we sin. Not that we practice sin. Not that we are sinners, right? Because we don't practice it, but we do sin. But God is faithful and just to cleanse us of all unrighteousness by the blood of Jesus. So thank you, God, for that. So the word continues, and he sa she says, But as I looked again at these books of the destiny of the nations, I saw that all the books of the nations were now laid upon, were now laid wide open on the table. And as I remained watching, I was taken closer in the vision to where I could see all the books of the nations of the earth before me. And as I was given, and I was given greater insight. Suddenly I saw what looked like glorious golden stairways appearing over each of the the books that were laid wide open upon the table and as I looked at the golden stairways I saw multitudes of warring angels ascending and descending the glorious golden stairways which reached high into the very court room of heaven and yet touched the very boundary lines of the nations Now, as I stayed very still watching in this place, suddenly I saw the scales of justice appearing at the very center of the table, and two archangels of the Lord appeared, each one standing at either end of the scales of justice. I looked at them, and I knew by revelation that I was being shown the archangel Michael, who stood on the right side of the table, and the archangel Gabriel. Who stood on the left side of the table now through revelation um this, this is something that i've learned so many of you have already heard this but if you haven't cat Kerr revealed uh that the lord showed her that michael is the archangel over the hosts of heaven the lord of hosts meaning the army and the army of angels that god has is not to protect heaven but it's to protect us that in itself was a like a huge revelation to me within the last year like oh yeah duh god doesn't need protection from heaven first of all no one can get there unless it's through jesus and if you're getting there through jesus you're not a threat <laughs> right it's your kingdom it's your home you're returning home from whence you came chew on that <laughs> Okay, so the Archangel Michael is the Archangel, the head over the armies of heaven. Gabriel is the Archangel over the messengers of heaven, as well as the scribes. Very cool, huh? And Lucifer was over the worship angels, but no longer. All right. She continues, as I looked and looked again in the vision, I saw that the Archangel Michael held a large sword in his right hand. And the Archangel Gabriel held a large golden scroll. Well, that kind of goes with what I said, right? Golden scroll, the scribes, messengers, messages. Thank you, Jesus, for confirming that revelation. A large sword. Yep, that was Michael for the hosts, army, warring angels. So Gabriel held a large golden scroll in his left hand. I watched as a sword in the right hand of Michael was suddenly, suddenly lifted high above the books of the destiny of the nations that lay wide open upon the table. And as the sword was lifted, I felt a great shaking suddenly begin to take place in the heavens and on the earth. And I saw the scales of justice that sat in the midst of the open books of nations begin to move. And then I heard these words, watch, for nations are now at a divine tipping point. For I will place on his shoulder the key of the house of David. He shall open and none shall shut. And he shall shut and none shall open. That's Isaiah twenty-two, twenty-two. And we're in the year 2022. 
As I heard those words, I saw an ancient door suddenly appear before the archangel Michael. And I watched as he put forth the long blade of the sword that he held in his right hand, and he thrust the blade of the sword into what looked like a large keyhole within the ancient door. As the blade of the sword entered the keyhole of the door, I heard the sound of turning, turning, turning in the realm of the spirit. I don't know why I imagine like the sound of gears turning, turning. Oh, we look at that. The sun is beginning to, to shine down a little and the Lord has... A rainbow. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Mm. By the way, the Lord's rainbow has seven colors. Seven. The corrupt rainbow that the devil attempts to steal and give to the ABC group, which are people that the Lord loves, and we love them. But there's a spirit of confusion and of uncleanness with that group. That group, in case you didn't know, they only have six colors in their rainbow. Six is the number of man. It's the number of sin. And so, of course, it is from the devil. That's where it stems from. But see, the devil only creates, thwarts, tries to corrupt, twist, pervert. But the Lord is the originator. Seven colors. Praise the Lord. Father, thank you for shining down upon us. Hmm. Thank you for your wonders, Lord. All right, let us continue. Uh, I watched as the mighty... Oh, my Lord. Whoa, look at that. The Lord just gave this manifestation. I hadn't even read this. Thank you for your presence, Jesus. And look what I'm about to read. Listen up, for God is speaking. I watched as the mighty rainbow whirlwind, whoa, hallelujah, began to move through the open door to where the books of the destiny of the nations were laid upon the large marble table. My God. And as I watched as the heavy gold pages of the books of the nation suddenly began to turn over as the mighty winds of the rainbow whirlwind blew forth upon the large table. That's not helping. All right, well, we'll just continue like that. We're listening to the word, right? We're not really looking at me. Oh, let's look at the rainbow, though. Thank you, Father. Okay, then I heard these words. Watch, for the key of the house of David shall open the ancient door of Revelation 4. For now the manifest power of my seven spirits. Look up Isaiah 11, verse 2 for that. As well as Revelation chapter 4, verse 5, and Revelation 5, chapter 5, verse 6. <laughs> There's also a scripture with the seven spirits of God in Zechariah, I believe. Whoa. For now the manifest power of my seven spirits shall go forth upon the nations. For a divine turning, turning, turning is now taking place over nations that are at a divine tipping point. And as I heard those words, I saw the Archangel Gabriel step forward as the mighty winds of the rainbow whirlwind moved back and forth across the table of books and with the golden scroll in his left hand. He began to unravel the scroll over the newly turned pages of the books of the destiny of the nations. As the golden scroll was fully unrolled, I saw what looked like ancient writings deeply engraved within the golden scroll. And then I heard these words, watch. For he shall reveal deep and hidden things. 
for he knows what lies in darkness, and light dwells with him. This is the Lord speaking. Now that reminds me of a scripture in Daniel 2.22 that talks about the Lord revealing hidden things, deep things, mysterious things. Amen? It's like the Lord has given us some cloud cover. Okay. Well, look at that. He's talking about deep things. And in the deep, if we're talking about like in the ocean, deep space, it gets darker. So <laughs> look at the manifestation. If you're not prophetic, if you're... Don't stand in the office of a prophet if you don't know anything about the prophetic, then the things that I'm saying to you will likely be far-fetched. But see, for those called to this, to this uh, area, spiritual area, these things are normal. This is as a way of life. This is how God speaks. So uh, don't let it bother you if, if you don't understand. Um, unless you're in it, then you can't really comment with the wisdom of God because a person's not called there, right? A mechanic is not going to tell a doctor how to do his job, right? Doctors, nurses, and so forth, they can speak on a certain subject matter that a mechanic or a chef can't. So it's going to be sound foolish, right? Anyway, that's just that. I'm always trying to teach and help us to understand so we can mature and grow, right? And not be divided, but united. All right, so watch, for he shall reveal deep and hidden things, for he knows what lies in darkness, and light dwells with him. As I heard those words echoing loudly in the realm of the Spirit, I saw the scales of justice move once again. And I hear these words, watch, for there is, in, for in this new kingdom era, the key of the house of David shall open and shut, and the golden scroll of Revelation shall be unsealed to bring forth a great revealing of the hidden secrets. For the light of my glory now rises upon the nations of the earth, <laughs> even as his light now rises, right? Just seconds before I read that, it was happening. And now she cites the scripture on well, Daniel 2. Verse 22, as I heard those words, suddenly I saw the scales of justice appear for a third time in the midst of the newly turned pages of the books of the nations. And I heard these words, watch for a divine tipping point brings forth the turning of a new page for the nations of the earth. For now the great redeemer and restorer comes in the mighty whirlwind of Elijah to reconcile the books of all nations and to bring supernatural recompense and great reward to nations that shall take up the robe of repentance and return to the altar of holy consecration. Suddenly, I came out of the vision. Now, as I began to pray and deeply meditate on all that I had seen and been shown, that was taking place in the courtroom of heaven. The Holy Spirit quickened to me. My very first encounter, the whole, the courtroom in heaven. So basically the Holy Spirit reminded Veronica of her very first experience in the courtroom of heaven. And I heard the spirit of revelation say, Listen, the sound of the gavel of my justice shall reverberate across the nations of the earth. For a turning, turning, turning of the page is now taking place in the heavens and on the earth. Here the, here's a thought, and I'm not saying this is so, but what if the Lord's saying a turning, turning, turning? That's three. What if the Lord is speaking of a three-month period? What if it falls in line with January, February, March? It's possible. Again, it was just a thought, but it is very possible that it falls in line, even though this happened on January 26th. But nonetheless, 
well, let's go on and finish this up here. For all the books of all nations shall be opened, and that which sits upon the scales shall be weighed in the balance. For a time of my justice and divine judgment has now begun. Oof. So let me read you the two scriptures, which we should know by now, but I will read them together. And then that is that. Scripture, scripture references Isaiah 22, 22, which we know. The key of the house of David I will lay upon his shoulder, so he shall open, and no one shall shut, and he shall shut, and no one shall open. And now Daniel 2, verse 22. He reveals deep and secret things. He knows what is in the darkness, and light dwells with him. Well, in line with what the Lord is speaking through his prophets, isn't it? God has just, I just released a word just um, yesterday, I believe, that spoke of the justice and judgment of God. So, wow. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Once again, you can find Veronica West on Facebook. Uh, I believe it's... I don't think it is here, but I know that um, you can find her on by searching Veronica West, Ireland, something about Ireland. Um, yeah, so praise the Lord for this new prophetic voice that we have presented here on this channel. So that is that. I will be back later. I'm going to enjoy my weekend as well as continue to work because there's things to do. I do have to do a little bit of work from my job job here. Yes, on this weekend as well as have a friend come over to, for fellowship and uh, just do some things. So that is that. I can't wait to read your comments. Remember, as soon as we get to the 8,500 mark, I'm going to be purchasing one of these for one of you. And then we'll just do that at every 500 subscribers. So to help us get there, you enter in by being subscribed, notification bell on, and commenting on as many videos, even some that I maybe have done a week, two, three, four weeks ago. Go ahead and listen because you may very well see and catch a new revelation of something that's happening now that we haven't mentioned that was spoken then, right? And then you can add that as value in the comments for, for everyone. So God bless you. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. I will catch you very soon in the next video.